If I had a quarter for every DM I get on Instagram asking what do I do about birth control and what are my thoughts on birth control or is there such thing as natural birth control? I'd be so freaking wealthy because I get that question at least once a day. After responding to like the 10th person, I just decided to copy and paste the whole thing, put it into my notes in my phone so this way I could just reply to the next person that asked super quick. And for a long time, it's been very scary to think about doing a video like this and just putting it out there for the world to see. And I've been trying to prepare for it so that my head is in the right place, my thoughts are clear, and I know exactly what I want to say. But finally, here's a video explaining what I do about birth control and why. As some of you may know, I'm a mom of two and naturally after having my second child, I feel like I'm set and my husband and I are not really thinking about a third child. I'm not saying that that wouldn't happen. We're keeping that option open, but for the moment, we do not plan on having a third child. And my mind is not processing having another child because I'm still caring for a baby already. And a lot of you know that after having my first child, there is a big gap like of eight years between my first and second. And that was on purpose because we wanted to devote a lot of time to our son for many reasons. So after eight years of having my son, my husband and I kind of made a deal that we would now just allow it to happen naturally. So not necessarily plan to have a second child, but just allow it to happen and not plan it. But the point is that prior to having my second child, I got into the habit of tracking my period cycle on one of those period tracking apps that you can just get on your phone so that I could somewhat have an estimated time as to when I would be ovulating and somewhat prepare for it and know that I have to be more careful during the ovulation time and make wise choices like using protection during that time especially. But to be honest, I wasn't too committed to the app and I wasn't too committed to the process. So I can't give it all the credit for not having a baby for eight years. I think we were pretty much winging it before and we just happened to have our second child eight years later. But now that I do have that second child and she's a small baby, I really wanted to take birth control more seriously because we do not plan on having a third child anytime soon. <laughs> but I'm also not opposed to the idea of having a third child in the future. So for me, it is very important to make wise decisions now that won't affect me in the future if I do make that decision. But at the same time, I wanna take a method that is effective and allows me to get to know my body and do that without hormones. I also believe women should be able to make informed choices about their reproductive and sexual health. And what I realized is that today, many of us lack so much information on our own bodies and how our bodies actually work to get pregnant and prevent pregnancy. I find it so crazy that it wasn't until after I had children that I took it upon myself to learn about how the reproductive system actually works. And I learned that there is a certain gap every month that women can actually get pregnant. And honestly, we should be taught this in school or by our parents or something, right? Because I used to think that you just have sex, if sperm enters your body, boom, you're pregnant. But it's not that simple. Surprise, surprise. I realized that I wasn't the only one uneducated in this topic, and a lot of women don't know how ovulation works and what it means to be fertile. And many of us just assume that going on the pill or taking the hormonal route is our only option. So many women, like myself, are surprised when they finally learn that by knowing your menstrual cycle, we can become aware of when we're ovulating. And taking our temperature every morning is an important step to determine when we're ovulating as well. My midwife was actually the first person to mention to me that this is a traditional method that women used for centuries by tracking their periods on calendars and taking their temperature. And with today's technology, we're actually able to do that much easier with our phones. And that's why I downloaded an app called Natural Cycles, which is a well-made birth control app that allows me to stay hormone-free while collecting my own data to detect whether I'm fertile or not on each day. And the best part is that it also gives me the knowledge of where I am on my cycle in order to prevent pregnancy using science and not hormones. And for any of you that may be questioning this, you guys, I genuinely, genuinely use this app. I am so happy to have found it. I'm so happy to have collaborated with them and I'm so happy to be here talking to you guys about it to empower you guys and spread information on it because it is super, super important and I don't think a lot of people know about this. So I'm gonna show you how I use it to prevent pregnancy, take my temperature every morning and show you how cool this app is. 
First off, I keep my basal thermometer right here on my bedside table and it never moves from there because whenever I use it, it's always in the morning before I even get out of bed. So as soon as I open my eyes, the first thing I do is grab my basal thermometer, place it in my mouth, press the button and leave it under the bottom of my tongue. Hold it there until I hear the beeping sound and I know that it's done. I see the temperature and I repeat it in my mind and then walk over to the bathroom because that's always the first place I go to anyway. And it's also where I keep my phone. And as soon as I walk into the bathroom, I open my Natural Cycles app and it automatically already opens to the temperature screen where I would log in my temperature and it has other details that you can put on there as well. Like if you're on your period, if you're spotting, if you took an ovulation test, you can put that on there as well. Or if you've been sexually active on that day, you can always go back to the app and enter that detail in whether you have been sexually active and if you used protection or not, you can put that in there as well. But for the most part, I just put down my temperature every morning and whenever my period arrives, I just make sure to log in the day that my period arrived and the day that my period ended. And then once in a while, it's okay to take an LH test, which is an ovulation test, which just helps the app be more accurate with how they determine your ovulation and fertility. And the app will tell me everything that I need to know for the day so that I go about my day being informed about my body. And just so you know, this is more effective than using a condom alone. And this method is only for those of you who are 18 and over. And of course, it does not protect you against STIs. So knowing your lifestyle and making lifestyle choices are very important when choosing what birth control is right for you. And for me, my priority when it comes to birth control is to remain hormone free. So I am very happy with this method and I'm so happy to share it with you guys. And if you're interested in learning more or have any more questions, make sure you guys check the app link down below or just go to your app store and download it to learn more. Getting started with natural cycles is easy. The first thing you need is a basal thermometer. It's more sensitive than a regular fever thermometer because it shows two decimals. Measure your temperature first thing in the morning before you get up and out of bed. Here's a tip on how to remember. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope you learned something. And I am so excited to read your comments down below and see what you guys think about it. So I'll see you down there in the comments or I'll see you in the next video. Bye, sunshines.